so impressive to see a gathering like yours here in Malaysia, uh, really putting some high-level thinking power into a subject that I think is, 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 has, has been ignored here, but, but globally, the threat of corruption. Um, and it's great to see Malaysia now leading on this issue because you've experienced the worst consequences, I suppose, of extreme corruption and have um, managed to escape you know, the, the final tip into, into uh, a failed state as a result of the corruption. You, you, you put the brakes on May the 9th and now you're thinking very hard about what institutional reforms need to come through. Um, and I think that uh, you will make these decisions, you will eventually institute these decisions. There's the will in this room, there's the will in this country, there's the expectation in this country. And then you will be showing the way to others, not just here in Southeast Asia, not just in other countries uh, close to you, but also to countries like mine, uh, where we've become complacent and we don't think enough about corruption, even though it's going on. We don't really realize it is. Um, and we have to remember that uh, greedy people will always try to influence decision making in our society and will be quietly seeking to get into those areas where uh, conflict of interest, which is the subject of, of our discussion today, um, can secretly be applied. Um, so within all of this, um, obviously I'm going to, as, as a journalist, as someone who works in the media, make my opportunity to remind you how important it is um, that our role, the role of journalists, is allowed to function properly. Because of course, we're the ones, you know, we're not the cops, we're not the ones who can go in and knock on doors and open up bank accounts and scrutinize, but we're the ones who can be the intermediaries. We tip everyone off about that secret corruption, that secret conflict of interest. And if we're not allowed to operate, then those cops can't move in. Or there's no pressure on those cops to move in. There's no pressure on anyone. Which is why, of course, any corruptly inclined uh, regime or a deep group of people will try to silence the media. And um, you well know how that silencing of the media operates. It was very effective here in Malaysia. And in fact, you needed a foreign girl like me, um, who was outside of Malaysia, um, to, to get to work on some of those big corruption scandals that your media were, were, were you know, deliberately prevented from being able to cover. Um, you know, just looking at some of the stories that I've done in the last few days, you can see how um, uh, the, the, the whole problem of conflict of interest can sort of seep into a psyche so that people aren't even aware, even, even at the highest levels, how dangerous it is. And, you know, I have, to, I have to admit I had quite a bit of fun um, with a story recently about some top cops from Malaysia, um, who, who I hope they had a nice uh, week away. Um, they, they went off on, a, on, a, on what appears to have been largely a jolly in uh, Istanbul uh, with members of their family and all their colleagues. Um, and of course those pictures were uploaded um, online by a tourism company. Um, and I got the story through um, a, a number of well-placed leaks. Um, you know, the, the wouldn't have been able to felt comfortable made me sort of blow the whistle another way. So these things slip to um, a, a news outlet and I happen to be the one. Um, and um, so, so the question then was, is the public paying for this jolly? Um, and um, you know that the, 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 there's a lot of embarrassment of course, it's totally unjustified. Um, and so um, you know, ministers come out and they say, no, it's okay actually, um, the public didn't pay. Um, the Association of Gamblers paid. Um, and, and, you know, and, and so there you have, a, a, you know, there's a classic conflict of interest. And, 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 you, know, but, you, know, you have a situation where actually officials come out and they don't realize that if there's anything worse than public paying for a bunch of cops to go on holiday, it's possibly a bunch of gamblers.